Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Outer Worlds. So, finally get to play this. I remember hearing the first announcement for this absolutely ages ago. It's finally here. I uh, heard a lot of good things about this uh, so far. Really confident this is going to be a really good game. Uh, it's, a, it's Obsidian, I mean, they got a really good, really good like track record. So yeah, cannot wait. Let's dive in. So, as far as like the first playthrough, we're going to uh, stick with the uh, normal, obviously, on the first on the first playthrough. Well, it feels like we've been waiting absolutely ages for this. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <clears throat> so yeah, it seems like it's going to be a very, um, very story-driven game as well, which, um, which is awesome. A lot of people are saying this looks, um, looks like Fallout, but I would, I would say it does look a lot like Bioshock as well. Damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Right, here we go. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so it's always hard. Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. It's always hard to, um. Uh, find a pick attributes because you never know what um, what you're gonna need the more what you're gonna need the most of really. Well, I find it's best just to try and get everything just just good, you know, basically at the start. So, <clears throat> so you definitely want good strength. Um, I think at the start, charm isn't uh, particularly important. That's something you you'll sort of improve as it as it goes on. Um, I think for now, we're just gonna put everything. Uh, how far up does it go? Yeah, I think for now, we're just gonna keep everything as as good. I think. I think uh, yeah, I just want a a good balance. Of uh, attributes. So skills. Where would it be for like health and stuff? I always like to uh, yeah put yeah, health like skills are really good at the start. Um, at last, a kindred spirit. Yeah, medicine. Yeah, the medical skill increases the heal amount provided from items. Yeah, we'll have that first. I think stealth isn't going to be important, really, at the start. Leadership, uh, you won't get... I don't think you get companions right at the start, so... Possibly dialogue, defence, I think maybe... One of them. Oh, I would say, yeah, let's get some good defence at the start. There's aptitude. Determination plus one. Drink effect duration, <laughs> block, persuade, persuade, shock damage, engineering, dodge, 
food duration, corrosion, inspiration. Ah, oh, maybe inspiration, that sounds good. The issue is that. Um, I think persuade because I know this is a, a very sort of uh, sort of heavy dialogue heavy game uh, as well, and a lot of it is uh, a big part of it is uh, trying to I think trying to convince people to do certain things. So maybe persuade. I think that's going to be really really important in you know, a game like this. Yeah, let's go with persuade. At least you know the value of money. Appearance. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> uh, not sure if I want to necessarily make the character look like me. Just want to just make him, just try and make him look uh, cool, basically. Because obviously, I don't think you can. It's not as if you can really see a character uh, apart from when you're in the menu. So it up there, I could. Uh, Brows. <laughs> jaw, I want to give him the biggest jaw possible. Now, uh, well, in the middle. <laughs> um, hey, let's have a look at some hair. Ow, ow. Let's go with that one, should we? Do like oh, I like that sort of a dirty kind of blonde. I quite like that. I was saying, even in the menu, I mean, he's probably gonna be he's probably gonna be wearing helmets most of the time as well. Isn't even gonna see much. Oh, let's have that one. <clears throat> Get it be the same same colour. Obviously. Features makeup uh age. I think looks a bit too young there, so having maybe old as folk now nah, um uh something even somewhere Late 30s, 40s. Uh, oh, actually, there is alright. Oh, God, I thought I lost it then. <laughs> right. Name Gunfire. Cool. Happy with that. Yeah, pretty, um, Pretty deep sort of customization, like it, liking it so far. Okay. Let's go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh dear. 
initiates skip jump. Oh, beaut. Status, structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down to 90%. Skip drive, Shit. inoperable. Shit, indeed. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist allowed have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Damn. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's <laughs> more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. It'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. So what I've gathered, the, a lot of the stories are based on sort of corporate um, control. That's why I think um, said in that re respect, similar to Bioshock as well. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Hmm. What's he wanted for then, I wonder? Kind of warm in these space pods. Ah, you landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. <laughs> the stab was the boss right any secrets back here <clears throat> wow absolutely beautiful look at those rings amazing oh I can't wait to get into this what? Stunning. 
quite um, No Man's Sky-esque, I would say, with a sort of graphical style of it. But better, of course. So. No, let's not start killing things. Let's be good. Look cool. All from what I've seen, all the the design of everything, like the, especially like the creatures, they look they look so cool. Cooking this. I'll take it. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't. One thing I didn't realize was um, how much uh, how much stealth is going to be in the how, how much stealth you can incorporate yourself into the into the game as well, which is really cool. <laughs> While sneaking, oh yes. The awareness meters over Rennie's head tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating or alerted. Ah, cool. Oh. Please don't be alerted. <whistles> Game complete. Jaw. Damn, what's that? <clears throat> oh, is that the uh, what was it called? Time time dilation thing, isn't it? Oh, crunch! You have low health. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one. Cool, I like that. That's quite different. Exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. No, then no. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Mm. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with, with guns. guns. Some hole had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Give me a gun, I'll go and get help. Uh, someone grounded this ship. You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see some of all, some of the um, dialogue options in this. It's supposed to be really, really funny. Got a better idea. Give me a gun. I'll go get help. Yeah. Okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too. Cheap. For patching me up and all. All spacer's choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. If you tried the best, now try the rest. Space. 
Pacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Saltuna, where you know. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's tempting. I'll. <laughs> oh, should I? <laughs> Just to see. Yeah. Oh. Let's <laughs> save it first. <laughs> Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to another waiter. <laughs> uh, lucky I remember to uh, save. Okay. So I had to try it. Nah, come on. Play serious now. Dear. Tactical time dilation. Extended your brain pressure. Pressing the time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode standing. Still drains your meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. It refreshes slowly over time. Cool. Q. Some objects explode when hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. Just don't be too close. Yeah, boy. Oh. You have unlocked leap. Double clip. Click jump when moving forwards to leap forward. Ah, oh, cool. New item. You have it to four weapons equipped at a time, navigating to the weapon. Take care of your weapons, and I'll take care of you. Inspect them, compare them. Flag them as junk or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Oh, okay. So how do I... Oh. <coughs> Journal... So character... Skills... Perks... Details... Reputation... Really detailed, really in depth. Love it. Inventory. Let's have a look at this screen. Yep. So armor. Uh, health modifications. General. Cool. Ooh. Nice. Sound design is epic. Tarmac and cheese. Magpick. What's that? Zero G blue. They. I thought they were banana. Oh, they are bananas. Hacking. 
Yeah, hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Bypass shunts are used to break. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag pixel shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your, yeah, raising your skill will speed up the process. Oh, so you need oh, one more of, oh, of those, yeah. Um, fish sticks, slash bread, Russian pill, Russian pill here. He's gonna turn around, and he as soon as I get to him. Ah, see, I knew that would happen. Oh, come on in. Oh, I did like a <laughs> a stagger. Then looked like. You've unlocked perfect blocks. When you time your block, this as a melee attack arrives, it staggers the enemy. Oh, helmet. Yes. What was? Oh yeah. Um. Ah. Oh yes. Spare. Amazing you can decapitate as well. <clears throat> oh, are they friendly too? So I heard, I found one of your terminals holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Well, I knocked him over the head the first time, but then I loaded the game back in, so he's fine now. <laughs> yeah, done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Intimidate. <laughs> Persuade. Do Space's Choice guys back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Oh, lush. Take all. Oh, so we for some meat. <clears throat> Um, he's alright. He's even better. No, he's just fucked. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting the destination. Where's map? Oh. Are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities, including oh, shotgun. Yeah, boy. One of your weapons or armor items is broken. I need repair. You have found a new weapon. Item repair. You can repair your weapons at a workbench. Cool. Oh, is it broke, is it? The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor. Keeping your combat ready. Uh, on each screen, first select the weapon or armor item you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair, break it down with parts, modify it, or tinker. So we need to repair the shotgun, is it? Modify. How do you do it? Oh, there. Repair 16, your weapon parts. 15. Ah. Oh. All right, I'm got enough. Tinker. Oh, so that improves the, uh... And break down, which I assume you can use... QL. Ooh, sir. Well, it's got a lot more damage than... Oh, I may as well have that in there as well. Sleep? Does that replenish? Oh, not that I would see because my health's full, but I assume that replenishes. Is relaxing, moves time forward. In supernova difficulty, you can rest in your bed on the ship. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. <laughs> Clever. Marauder, please be informed. The ship has no crew for you to murder. <laughs> Would never dream of it. Well. I'll just do, um, so we can Smile explore more later. Device, I am tracking your every move. 
Hello, Marauder. I am Enda, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. <laughs> I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Genocide procedures initiated. Oh dear. Changing air locks. Prepare to attack all foreign parties in five, four, three, two, one. The hell? If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express... Disappointment. Need to get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. He's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yes. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <coughs> Level up. You gain enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ladder to advance your character. It increases health. Gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as gives you access to a new perk. Every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management. Skill improvements. Every time we level up, you'll earn points, improve. How many do you get? God, ten every. Is that every time? That's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on medical, uh, anything health related at, at the start, because obviously probably one, obviously one of the most important things. So let's pull that up by, say, two. Stealth, minute dialogue, I would say, just to start with. And maybe as well. Perks. You can choose which perks you can get new, uh, every two levels. You also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as 
except on the floor. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available. So where's anything to do with health? Oh, the first one there. Okay. Devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. <clears throat> the ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I. Ah, oh, so is uh, there any point trying to explore at the moment? I think it's gonna it's gonna be really limited at the moment. Uh, it's all good. Oh, crunch. And is in need of repair or modification. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Didn't have enough um, parts, did I? No, I didn't have enough parts. So your weapon parts 15, oh, six, uh, 16, yeah. Oh, so maybe it's a good idea to collect stuff, uh, even duplicates, because they can be Say, cut down the parts. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. Yeah, fair point. Now I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Al. <laughs> oh, shit, they made to do that. <laughs> Oh, is that, um, oh, cool, is it like a day and night cycle as well? I love that you can see, like, the other planets. That is super, super cool. Wow. Amazing. Makes it feel like a sort of true space RPG, like. Oh shit! Need some cover.
God, did they kill those residents? Nasty men's. Spectac. Anything of interest down here? Crunch. Oh, I. So. Oh, hello. Plasma rifle. Charge up for a bigger attack, hold the attack button to build up. Nice! Well, this is obviously an early example of uh, how exploration is going to reward you. That is, that is awesome. So if I break that, no, hang on. Why, why can't I do that? Hmm. So this is what I love about RPGs, just the things you discover and the explo how exploration, how much exploration like rewards you and the shit that you find when you look around. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there for now for the first episode, but I hope you've enjoyed this um, this first part. Um, look out for the next part coming soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.